hi uh, welcome to the another video first of all i want to say thank you to you all you love my videos number of calls i'm getting is unbelievable uh, i make too many videos about this topic but i'm gonna make one more short video quickly briefly and with the brief explanation which car you should buy because nowadays too many people getting their pcu and in the future as well and they look for the cars uh, in this video uh, i will explain which car you should buy because the rules are changed in uh, 2023 only uh, some specific cars can get the sticker which fulfill uh, the carbon emission according to the tfl so what carbon emission um, they should fulfill the cars and which car you should buy uh, mostly the plug-in hybrid will fulfill this condition um, electric car is going to be okay but it's going to be very expensive is starting from 28,000 is Kia, Niro, Tesla, Nissan, Leaf but other company they are um, getting the cars as well you can buy from them but if you're looking for the cheaper uh, less than 20,000 then uh, you can uh, get the used car but that car must be uh, plug-in hybrid and you must check the CA2 emission. So how you check the CA2 emission? Uh, so you have to check a V5 logbook of uh, the car. If you do not have it, you must check it. You have to ask it. Uh, for it. Uh, so I want to see my Mercedes E-Class. I have a Mercedes E-Class, but last year I got the sticker. If I want to get the sticker this year, I won't be able to get it. So the carbon emission, that is on the second page, as you can see on the screen as well. Uh, so far this one carbon emission is uh, uh, this it is saying that is 127 gram per kilometer but uh, now if you check this list on the screen you can see uh, the co2 emission must be 75 or less gram per kilometer so means if it's less than 50 then it should be doing 10 miles on electric this is mentioned on the logbook or if it's between 50 to 75 i'm talking about the ca2 gram per kilometer emission rate then uh, if it's between 50 to 75 then it should be doing 20 miles on electric and it must be a euro six uh, this is a difficult formula and it's not easy to check the logbook as well before by the car but you can ask it but the mostly plug-in hybrid cars like a new Toyota business uh, one the, that is fulfilled on this uh, condition there's other companies some uh, mercedes as well which is plug-in hybrid uh, is fulfilled on this condition as well so is uh, nowadays is going to be very hard the price is up as well because of that condition but is good idea if you want to buy the used car um, which already have a sticker then then you should be looking for a 17 18 19 plate because if you're looking for the 2023 plate, uh, then um, uh, you can yeah get the sticker for the next uh, 10 year. But if you're looking for let's say 2013 plate, which is going to be the last year, you cannot get the sticker. Uh, same 2014, 15. So 2015 is going to be much cheaper. Uh, any which have a sticker on it then you can work till 2025 which is good idea because you get your pco license and you don't know how this work is going to be so first you should rent the car my advice um because we provide cars on rent and we provide some cars rent to buy as well you can contact with me we will give you the best rate as compared to the market because i'm working with the uh, different companies they give me the offers uh, so as i was saying uh, you don't know uh, this could work you maybe you like or not so it's better to rent the first couple of months if you like it then my advice you should buy your own car then because rent to buy is going to be a little bit expensive and uh, you are paying is uh, rent and if you get rent to buy after five six years the car is going to be yours and you can keep working i uh, hope so you like this video and uh, as usual uh, please if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you are looking for any cars uh, we sell the car as well i have a contact with the different companies so please whatsapp me i will help you for this uh, regards thank you so much